Good evening and welcome to the News at 10. I'm Evelyn Schultz. And I'm Andy Curtis. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Well, we begin tonight in the great outdoors. Warm weather is making its comeback, sort of, <laughs> meaning people will start to see more bugs flying around each day. While some people might find them annoying, their return means the revitalization of many Montana communities. MTN's John Riley takes us there. Fly fishing has been a popular outdoor sport in Montana since the early 20th century. Since then, it's grown into a major industry of shops, manufacturers, and outfitters. Towns like Craig reel in tens of thousands of anglers each year. Craig's unique. Uh, it's a town of 40 residents. It's a couple hundred yards long and wide, and there's three fly shops. Cross Currents fly shop owner Chris Strainer says during the summer months, the town is packed with people, and the shop sells hundreds of flies each day. This year is a little unusual, though. While fly hatches are underway, you won't see many fly fishermen on the Missouri due to water flows being twice as high as usual. So it changes a little bit of our clientele here, um, and or, or changes the way that people have to approach the river. Um, high water years like this are great for the fish. The fish love it. They just make fishing a little bit tougher. Strainer says this will most likely make for better dry fly casting in a few months. The Montana Department of Tourism and Development say all types of fishing are popular in Montana, and the state has become a international fishing destination. Around 1 million people come to Montana each year to cast in the Treasure State's lakes, rivers, and streams. Outdoor recreation as a whole is the cornerstone of tourism in Montana. And within that, um, that umbrella, fishing ranks um, really high as a top activity of why people want to come to our state. The state is currently seeing a surge of people using outfitters, bringing in around $374 million last year as an industry. Despite being nearly 30 years old, many credit some of the growth to Robert Redford's movie, A River Runs Through It. Unspoiled Nature is a brand pillar of ours, and we're one of the last places that you can experience something like this, and we have such great access to our waters. We have an audience that wants to come here for free-spirited adventure. Fly fishing really embodies that. It's romantic, and part of A River Runs Through It helped us romanticize that, but also it's accessible for people, and people can come here and, and enjoy it. Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks say with a few hours, pretty much anyone can pick up fly casting, though it takes a lifetime to truly master. But as many anglers will tell you, even if they don't catch anything, it's still a great day to be fishing in Montana. Reporting from Craig, John Riley, MTN News. And people out wade fishing should be extra careful because of the spring water depth and current strength in most rivers.